What's up, y'all? Today's video is going to be about tips for living on Naval Base Coronado, Naval Air Station Coronado, whatever you guys want to call it, Coronado Island, the base, the Navy base. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. We're going to talk all about it. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing is there's two barracks. So you have the Mills Hall and Finn Hall. Finn Hall is right next to the gym. So if you guys are bodybuilders or into lifting, there's a gym. You can go in there for free. You just got to show your ID. It's pretty dope. There's also a bowling alley right by Finn Hall. So like if you want to go bowling with the boys or something, and you don't got a car, like you don't want to drive somewhere. There's some cool stuff for you to do on the base that's fun. They also got a movie theater, but the movie theater is in like a, like a old jet hangar bay, something like that. So I usually just go to a movie theater out in town. But if you guys are trying to see movies, I know they show movies and they also had like a special event like uh i know one of the special events out here uh this past summer was they showed the flash early like a month early so you do get some perks living on base for the restaurants on base you got a pizza parlor nasani pizza parlor which is like you can get wings and pizza it's a little bit expensive it's a little bit more expensive than it would be like if you were to go order a pizza in town but what sucks about naval air base coronado is like you can't order food onto the base. You have to order it to the gate, which sucks because it's like no civilians could come in. On the other base I was staying in at Fort Meade, you could order food and you could bring it all the way up to your barracks room. I wish they would change that so that I could order like a pizza or something, but it's all good. You also got the the next. So the next is like a Walmart. So you got like a little Walmart in there. You got a place to get your haircut. So there's like a little barber shop. The like haircuts are like $15. Mind you, they're not good. Don't ever tell them to give you a high fade. Tell them to give you a medium fade or a low fade because if not, they're gonna mess your stuff up. Um, they got a dry cleaner facility. They got the commissary and the commissary is like where you can buy like fruit and shit. Um, they also got a Panda Express, two Subways, a Dunkin' Donuts, uh, a pretzel shop, places like that. But if you are trying to save money or you don't get basic food allowance you guys can go to the base galley and what i didn't know because since i'm on a ship i didn't know you could go to the base galley and they'll still pay for your food you just have to go in there there's like a little sign up sheet and you'll just write oh my name last four your social and then boom you get free food to the base galley it's not like the best food it's like cafeteria food but it's a lot better than the ship's food so if you are trying to get some food and you don't want to walk all the way back to the ship definitely hit up the base galley it's pretty dope another cool thing about naval air base coronado is they have a bunch of lifts like a lift bike so you can download lift and you can pay like two bucks to go all across base do whatever you want on naval air station coronado and it's nice if you don't have a car. I was using the, the bikes for a very long time. I'm waiting for after my deployment to where I can get a car. So the, the bike's definitely helpful if I'm trying to save time instead of just having to walk everywhere. There's also a beach on Naval Air Station Coronado. So if you look at Coronado Island, there's Hotel uh, Del Coronado, and then you have like the beach by their um, hotel. And then the other side of that beach is on the base. So it's like an exclusive private beach. Like you may go there for like a work event or something like that. But there is like a little base beach if you guys are into like just chilling on a beach, getting a suntan, something like that. You definitely can go to the beach. My biggest advice to you people going to Coronado though, is definitely get off of Coronado and go explore San Diego. Go explore the area around. I check out Pacific Beach if you like to party. Uh, you also got downtown San Diego, like Fifth Avenue area. That's where all the clubs are. Um, and then they have like La Jolla if you're into like more like nature and the beach. There's a bunch of cool stuff that you could do in San Diego. San Diego is a pretty big city. There's pretty much everything out here. Um, they also got like Chula Vista around like a bunch of different places. You can go out to LA, it's like two hours away. So yeah, you're not really just limited to being in San Diego. For you people who are in A school or you're you know in boot camp, you're not restricted whenever you're out here in the fleet. Like you can really move around and do whatever you want as long as you're at work. You know what I mean? And you follow the rules. And obviously don't get like a DUI or nothing crazy like that. If you guys live on Coronado and you feel like I missed something, go ahead and put it in the comments. If you feel like 
you have something that you want to say, you got a question to ask, also put it in the comments. I'm going to try to answer. But if you guys want to answer to somebody else's question, definitely answer their question also. I appreciate you guys. If you're trying to keep up with me, follow me on Instagram at deepside999, D-E-E-P-S-I-D-E-999. I appreciate you guys. Stay blessed. Peace. Uh, trying to hit Dubai. American Express, swiping visas when I fly. Ayy, know my ops be falling off, don't even ask them why. Ayy, had to take that.